In this video, I'm going to show you how to tape the shoulder using kinesiology tape. So I've cut two strips of rock tape here. I've cut a shorter piece that's going to wrap around the anterior glenohumeral joint and I've cut a slightly longer piece, you can see that there, one is slightly longer than the other, which is going to wrap around the posterior part of the glenohumeral joint. So before we apply the tape, we want to make sure that this area is slightly stretched. We can do that by placing one arm behind the back and then asking the patient just to side flex their neck across. So we've got a little bit of stretch for the anterior part of the shoulder. Tear away the backing paper and apply the tape just over the outer clavicle with no stretch. Peel the backing paper away and then just by adding a little bit of stretch, we can get the tape to conform and curve around the anterior glenohumeral joint like so. You'll also notice I've rounded the ends of the tape which is always advisable as it helps the tape to stay in place for longer as the edges don't catch on clothing and peel off. Then I'll ask our model to place their arm across their abdomen and to also maintain the stretch across there and just to turn towards you guys a little bit more so you can see the posterior part of the shoulder. Now remember this next piece the tape was a little bit longer and that's because the area that we're taping tends to be a bit more as well. So we need a bit more tape to cover a larger range. So we start the tape just over the back of the humerus there. And the tape can overlap a bit, but the tape sticks better to the skin than it does to itself. So try not to plonk the second piece of tape right over the first piece. Try to have a good anchor directly on the skin. Peel away the backing paper. That gives you the ability to stretch the tape and then wrap the tape around the posterior humerus there, around the posterior deltoid, and then finish off over the deltoid tuberosity region. And also you're gonna end up finishing off by covering over the end of the first tape, which re reduces the ends of the tape and makes it stay in place for longer. It also makes it look a bit more aesthetic. And what should happen is with movement, hopefully with a full range of motion, so I get a model to do a full elevation, and then down again. The tape should not limit movement and of course the tape should not fall off. So you want to test afterwards that the tape is not limiting or feels too tight. If you put the tape on too tight on the shoulder and they're doing a lot of movement, a lot of repetitive movement of the shoulder, particularly elevation movements, then this can cause skin irritation. So top tip, don't overstretch your tape, especially over the shoulders. Okay, so that's a simple glenohumeral joint application. Thanks for watching the Physio Channel.